You know, uh, it's certain days, but I'm not sure today is the day. But it's, it's better than better than that. Two more choices. <laughs> really? Do, do, you, do, you th do you think we've become a little bit too myopic? You know, in the sense that there's a channel for this side and there's a channel for that side. Is that helpful to those viewers? Or is it, I mean, A, do you agree with that? Mm -hmm. Or is it, is it the news' responsibility to present a more balanced approach? Well, I think it is myopic if you are actually just catering for one side or the other, yes. And that, that's why we talk about values and not parties, for instance. Correct. We don't think fundamentally we're wrong about um, what MSNBC represents and what, what we represent for our audience. And I, I meet them every day because I do go on TV and, and, and right. people recognize me. They tell me, as they tell all of my colleagues, that they that MSNBC represents something very powerful and meaningful to them. It isn't... Um, so is it is it community-based? Like, what are yeah. you building? Like, what, what is so different between, between MSNBC, MSNBC and CNN? Right. And yeah, I think it is a community of values. I mean, it's still rooted in the news. It's still rooted in, in the politics that we talk about a lot. But it's more than that. It's bigger than that. And it, and it is about... Um, you know, what we call the lean forward progressive values. Um, not every story is a progressive story, but but news has a value to our audience when it hits on their issues and values that are, in some cases, a life struggle. Do we run the risk, though, with news becoming more entertainment than informative? I mean, I yeah. I mean, yeah, we recently do. Brian Williams, I mean, all yeah. that sort of people telling stories to engage viewers without having facts behind it. Well, Isn't that a risk? There's, there's, Brian Williams was a, um, obviously an enormous challenge for NBC News overall. Um, everyone took it extremely seriously and they still do. It, you know, it's hard to say it's hard to say how much, I know people have written that, you know, this is a sort of um, a symptom of, of the news anchor becoming entertainer. Uh, news anchoring has a degree of performance in it, whether you like it or not. Um, they're not the reporters and correspondents. We know that, you know, when they, when they travel the world, they, are, they don't have the same expertise as the re actual war correspondents who, who are living and breathing this stuff. And they would be the first to admit that. Richard Engel is a war correspondent and Brian Williams travels, has traveled to war zones and right. Engel, Engel lives this stuff. Um, it quite clearly, on the news side, you know, the, the value that we, we, um, we prize above all others is the ability to impart information. So. I, I think we know where the balance is. It's on information, not on entertainment. But we call them TV shows for mm -hmm. a reason. They mm -hmm. are shows. They involve performance. 